Hi to friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's have a comparison between the Hello Watch 3 Plus and the HK9 Ultra 2 Max. Yes, the newest on the HK line. I know many of you have questions about these two models and I hope after this video you can decide which one is for you. It might be a long video, so let's go straight to it. But before that, let me ask you again, if you find these videos helpful, hit that like button. It will be highly appreciated. Perfect. First of all, the specs will be on the side. The Hello Watch 3 Plus, it will be always on the left with the orange straps and the HK9 Ultra 2 Max will be on the right with the black straps. The Hello Watch 3 Plus, it pairs to QE Fit app, the HK9 to Wear Fit Pro. They both can pair to some other applications, but uh, they are from the same companies on each model, so they will be pretty much the same with some exceptions of course they both can wear apple watch ultra covers uh, crown will turn freely holds a line dab sometimes not perfectly but definitely you will be able to use them same thing on the left side you can press the action button without no problem so definitely you can use them on both straps will be the same story you can use alpine loop ocean it will be up to you they both have that apple watch ultra design we can see a different on the color this one is darker i think you can perfectly see it on the video but on both we will come with real holes and the antenna design if we go to the other side same thing with the action button is a little bit darker on the hello watch 3 plus now to be honest with you to notice this difference you will have to have one side by side about weight HK9 Ultra 2 Max 49 grams and Hello Watch 3 Plus 54.8. So Hello Watch 3 Plus is a little bit heavier, but on your hand you're not gonna be able to tell that. The cases uh, on both feels uh, metal, but we have some difference. Like for example, right here you can see the lock straps on the Hello Watch 3 Plus. They are uh, bigger. If we go on the right side, the crown on the HK9 Ultra 2 Max, uh, the orange circle looks darker. And another thing it is that on the Hello Watch 3 Plus, it is easier to turn it. On the HK9, it feels more uh, firm. To power on the devices, on the HK9, you have to press the crown. On the Hello Watch, you have to press the second button. They both come with bedside lamp clock, the different you will see it on the circle right here. It is dynamic and on the center it will tell you the percentage on the HK9. It will depend on how much battery you have, the circle will be filling it up with green. And not only that, it can change style when you turn the crown, you see it turns white. And now if we turn one more time, it will show you these colors on blue and light blue. So it will be up to you which one you choose. Now, the time that the best sideline clock will be on will depend on the timing you have on the main screen. See, they both just turned off because I have just one minute on the main screen to be on. Now about smoothness, if you pay attention on this uh, watch face, I think you will be able to see the difference. But if we go to the menu and we swipe with our finger, I think you will be able to see the difference too. HK9 still a little bit better. In both cases, you can turn off the screen by covering with your hand. Now, different is that on the HK9, you're able to turn on or off that feature. Now, about watch faces on the Hello Watch 3 Plus, we come with six. These ones, you can change them from the app. This one right here will be the one that you can upload a picture to the smartwatch. On the HK9, it comes with a 10 pre-installed from factory. Number nine, it is uh, where you can upload a picture from your smartphone. And number 10 will be where you will find the ones that you create with artificial intelligence. But like I said, this is pre-installed from factory. After this, you will be able to add six more, anyone you want from the app. Yes, so you could have 16 in total in the HK9. Just keep in mind that this eight right here, you're not going to be able to replace them. They both has watch faces that you can touch on the screen and this one will change color, sometimes even style. 
we had this one on the HK that looks very similar. The difference is that here you just tap to change color. On this one, you will have to go to edit and then you can uh, turn the crown to select a different color. Of course, in both cases, we will come with uh, shortcuts on many of the deals they offer. Now about watch face that you can upload a picture from your smartphone gallery, different will be on the Hello Watch 3 Plus. You can select uh, digital time or the pointer i mean the analog style on the hk9 only digital on both you can change the color of the time and decide where do you want it different is right here you can move it freely swiping with your finger on the app right here only the preset settings now on the hello watch 3 plus we had this uh cool uh, watch face editing that we go right here we hit edit and it will let you change the background not only that but the color it will offer you many where to choose from you will be able to change style and not only that but choose which uh, shortcuts you want on your watch face on this one we had this feature the carousel dial so from the watch faces created with uh, artificial intelligence you can uh, have some right here turn on or off this feature but if you have it on and then uh, you select it now every time that you lower your hand then when you raise it up it will switch between all the different features that you add to the carousel on the hello watch 3 plus app all of the watch faces will be free on the hk9 ultra 2 max the majority you will have to pay for it especially for the cool ones they go from one dollars to two yes it will offer you some free ones but let me know what do you think now screen timing on hello watch 3 plus you can go from five seconds customizable all the way to one minute but you have this option right here always on display yes the screen can be on all of the time on hk9 ultra 2 max you can go only from five seconds to 30 but we can with this second option right here constant light setting that when you touch it you can choose to the main screen be on for three minutes customizable to 20 that's the maximum 20 minutes pass then it will turn off and you will have to come over here and turn it back on now on brightness they both have uh, five different levels different is on the lower one the hello watch 3 plus can go darker now about full brightness for outdoors In my opinion they both go the same now in both smartwatches we come with pointer you can uh, turn it on right here from screen settings different it is that right here you just can turn it on or off and you will come with three different styles i'll show you here in a minute and on the hk9 you can decide if have it on for 12 hours 24 or always on it will be up to you if we cover the screen like this this is how the digital will look on the HK9, it also show you the date. And not only that, but it has more brightness. On Hello Watch 3 Plus, to change it to the analog style, you will have to come over here and select pointer zero or number one. Let's choose zero. And this is how it will look. On the HK9 Ultra 2 Max, it will switch automatically. All you have to do is uh, choose a watch face with analog style. Now, if I cover with my hand, you can see it right there by the way this will be the third style on the hello watch 3 plus like i said you will have more brightness on the hk9 here we find another different from the screen when you swipe with your finger the transition on the hk9 ultra is customizable you just go on uh, screen settings and right here the dynamic you touch and you can switch between these three different options let's choose the cube rotation and now this is how it will look when we swipe with our finger i think you can see the difference right there on the hello watch 3 plus it is what it is you cannot change it now if we go to the menu style on the hello watch uh, 3 plus we come with two different ones on the hk9 you can choose between uh, four different ones that will offer you not only that but uh, for the background you can upload 
a different wallpaper from the app, even choose a picture from your gallery. And another extra feature on apps application, it is that right here, you can choose three different transition style. When you open in app, then when you swipe back, you will change the transition just like you saw. That right here, is not possible now about crown features right here from the main screen you turn nothing will happen on this one you can get into the widget system on both you can select that when you turn it they will give you a vibration feedback if you press one on the hk9 it will take you to the apps menu press twice from here it will switch between the four different styles that will offer you from main screen, press and hold, it will uh, lead you to power off the device, turn on the siren, make an emergency call, and restart. Press it twice, it will take you to the apps open in the background. This one you can close them, swiping and touching on the red icon like that. On the HK9, you press once, it will take you to the apps menu, as I said, you press twice, it will take you to the apps open in the background, you can close them the same way. And if you press and hold, it will let you use your voice assistance. About the second button on the button, if you press it once, it will take you to the shortcuts panel. Now, different is on the HK9, this is customizable when you press once and when you press uh, twice real quick, it can open any app that you select from the settings. On the HK9, only can take you to the shortcuts panel, and if you press and hold, it will let you to power off the device, restart, or make an emergency call. About the third button, in both cases, it's customizable. You can decide which app to open when you press it. Now, let's talk about gestures on the screen. From left to right, they both come with split screen. On the HK9, it offers you a second option. You can come on settings, secondary screen, and select this uh, other option right here. You swipe like this, you can uh, call your voice assistant on the top. And if you swipe with your finger like this, it will open all of the other options uh, all the way from the bottom. You can customize those features. From bottom to top, we get into this interface. Different is right here, the background is black solid. Right here, I think you can tell it's transparency. On the Hello Watch uh, 3 Plus, you can uh, go through with the crown or swiping with your fingers. On the HK9, only swiping with your finger on the screen. Of course, uh, from all the way to the bottom, if you swipe one more time, you get into the apps menu. Remember on the HK9, the transition will depend which one you choose from settings. And another different will be that from here, only on the Hello Watch 3 Plus, you can come back to this widget system. Not only that, but the clock you see right here on the Hello Watch 3 will depend which uh, watch face you have on the main screen. If you select an analog style, now when you swipe, it will switch the clock right here too. On the HK9 Ultra, stay the same all the time. To the other side, we will come with our widget, as you already know. In both cases, these are customizable. Here we have the players, they look different. In both cases, you will be able to connect your Bluetooth headset, control the music from your smartphone, and the music that you had added to the smartwatch storage. Now here we have a big difference on the HK9 Ultra 2 Max. After I delete all of the songs that uh, came installed from factory, I was able to upload a maximum of 8 songs. Yes, very sad, but it is what it is. On the Hello Watch 3 Plus, I'm able to add 27. That's the maximum in my case. On both cases, if you don't want that everything you play on your phone sound through the smartwatch speaker, you can turn off that. The difference is on the Hello Watch 3, you will have to go to settings. But on the HK9 Ultra 2 Max, all you have to do is touch right here on the corner icon. It will sound through the smartwatch speaker or you touch again, it will sound on the smartphone again. I repeat, on Hello Watch 3 Plus, you will have to go to main settings because if you had that media sound feature off on main settings and then you come right here and try to control the music from your smartphone, sound won't come out anywhere. But if you had all the settings right, you will have full control of the media playing on your smartphone straight from the smartwatch player.
on the HK9 Ultra 2. If you're playing something uh, on your smartphone, it has this uh, problem that it won't be able to control the volume. Of course, if it is sounding through the smartwatch speaker, yes. But if you leave the audio on your phone for some reason, it's not able to control it. Still, you can do this little trick right here. Use the TikTok player. And yes, you will be able to control the volume in case you're using your earbud, AirPods, or just playing everything on your smartphone. Now, in case of notification, in both cases, we come with the red dot. Different is on the HK9, it is uh, bigger. You might be able to tell right there. We swipe down. Here we will have our messages on the Hello Watch 3 Plus. It will be one above the other. You will have to swipe like this to check them. It can say a maximum of 20. On the HK9, we come with the stack messages. As you see, they will be saved by apps folder. For example, if you want to check all the ones from Telegram, you touch, then swipe down and they will be right here. It can save many in each uh, folder. Let's say you want to check all the messages from WhatsApp, you just touch right here, and there we have them. Another difference, you find it right here on the Hello Watch 3 Plus, that's the maximum of characters you will be able to see, you're not able to scroll down. On the HK9, yes you can, not only that, but it will show you a lot of the images people send you, that's not the case on the Hello Watch 3 Plus. If you care about the icons, as you see on the HK9 Ultra 2 Max, we come with the new icon for X on uh, the Hello Watch 3, we still with the old Twitter one. Now, in both cases, we come with tone and vibration for our notifications. I know you're wondering which one does it better. Well, the Hello Watch 3 Plus has better vibration, but the HK9 Ultra 2 Max has louder tone. Another cool feature is that the, on the HK9 Ultra 2 Max, you can hide the content. Now, in case of calls, the Hello Watch 3 Plus will show you the contact name, the HK9 contact name plus the phone number. We already have videos about that here in the channel. This is already very long, so I won't go through all that. On the HK9, we count with the tap feature to answer call. It goes decent. We're supposed to be have a shake to answer phones on the Hello Watch 3 Plus, but be honest with you, it never works for me. On both, you can save your contacts. Now, I don't know why, but on the HK9 Ultra 2 Max, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't show you the contact's name during the call. Now, let's talk about the extra features that the HK9 Ultra 2 Max will offer you. You can uh, change the font size. It will offer you three different levels, uh, small, medium, and large. The time that you want the app uh, to stay on when the screen goes off, uh, that way when you raise up your hand, Still on the open app or back to the watch face. We come with a dynamic island in case you're playing music or when you're charging the phone. It can show you the percentage and uh, definitely that is charging. Transition style on dial dynamic or uh, for the application where you open them and go back. Lip photo preview. Artificial Intelligent Watch Face Creation, Chat GPT, Smart Memo, Translator, TikTok Controller. You can download many games and apps from the Wear Fit Pro app. The Me and You app where you can see your family location if you are using the same app. Artificial Intelligent Watch Face Album. Personalized ringtone folders, even that these are empty right now, but you still can add your own ringtone for calls uh, from the app. The carousel feature I told you before. Now, in both cases, we come with a photo album. You can upload pictures from your gallery. Different is that on the Hello Watch 3 Plus, you can do zoom in, zoom out, and uh, check your picture around. That is not possible right here on the HK9. What you can do, like on the Hello Watch 3, it is a delete picture or set it as a watch face. In both cases, we had the ebook feature. Both have compass, but they look different. You can see the calendar. Different is right, right here. You can swipe with your finger on the HK9 or you can uh, go through with the crown. That is not possible right here. You have to use your finger and tap on the arrows to go back and forth. Both come with a voice recording. 
on alarms we come with a ringtone and vibration different needs on uh, hello watch 3 plus you can select your own ringtone yes uh, from the music that you had uploaded to the watch that is not possible on the hk9 we have calculator on both we have timer in both as you see on some apps the interface looks different if we go for one minute uh, this is how they will look on the hk9 ultra 2 max it will show you the actual time too and when it finish on the hello watch uh, 3 plus the vibration is longer too right here we will have just a short vibration both has voice assistance hello watch 3 plus count with uh, sport records on the hk9 ultra 2 max you will have to check the app they both has stopwatch but right here you can have different style hello watch 3 plus once you connect it to the app it can show you your position but i'm talking about just the name of the city where you at nothing like the map or something like that now they both can show you route when you're using the map through the app whoa this is getting so long i've been recording for one hour okay about connection in both cases uh, I had no problems at all. After all the upgradings on the Hello Watch 3 Plus, uh, I'll go fine. Same thing with the HK9 Ultra 2 Max. I had no problems on calls or connecting to the app. That is my experience. Now about battery, we have a clear winner right here. The Hello Watch 3 Plus. It can give me three to seven days, depending on configuration and usage. The HK9 Ultra 2 Max using the off clock like this the first time gave me two whole days i'm talking about 24 hours plus 24 hours and on typical usage it can give me up to five days now if you have the main screen always on i'll show you right here look they were both the same when i started the video and you see right here we had 76 percent right here 98 but be honest with you as you see the interface uh, for example the background on the menus uh, this one uh, has uh, bright colors, this one dark. And I had the screen on for a little longer on the HK9 Ultra 2 Max, but still, it is a big difference. About speaker, they sound pretty much the same to me. And now about health. To be honest with you, I never recommend replicas for health and sports because uh, at this point you already know how the sensors are on uh, you know budget smartwatches in this case uh, both has very low quality sensors but definitely the hello watch 3 plus goes better there if i remove my hand look the hello watch 3 immediately knows that i'm not wearing it the hk9 sometimes it will show you that but still, you see, it starts measuring again by itself. And if we leave it right here, they both are giving you readings. So like I said, if you are looking for, uh, you know, sports or health, you will go a lot better with something like uh, this, the Xiaomi Mi Band 8. For health and sports, I will recommend you something like this. I just ordered another one for $25 from AliExpress. They had real good sensors, sleep tracking, same thing for sports. For that, you will be very happy. And still, you can receive your notifications. It will alert you about calls. And like I said, only $25. And for sports and health, you will be really happy. So definitely you cannot trust on, uh, you know, the sensor readings. Sometimes if you stay still, they might give you right uh, heart rate reading. But once you start moving around, just forget about it. But uh, on the HK9 uh, Ultra 2 Max, we come with uh, blood pressure. Not only that, we have uh, blood sugar levels up. But like I said, you cannot trust on this at all now on step counting both do a decent job i compare them uh, to this uh, going out walk and everything i already did that on this uh hk9 ultra 2 max 2 
see I have the record right here and about step counting they do a decent job on sleep tracking then the hello watch 3 plus do a better job sometimes it show me the same time as the Xiaomi Mi Band this one is always so one hour one hour and a half off and about weather what can I tell you you already know sometimes they show you close but most of the time they offer compared to the smartphone the QE Fit app is easy to use, ads free. The Wear Fit Pro app, it has many other features, but you will find a lot of ads in there. And well, the friends, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this uh, Hello Watch 3 Plus and HK9 Ultra 2 Max, which one you have and which one you prefer. With that being said, take care and I'll see you in the next one.